everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I've been having a lot of fun actually meeting people in the industry and one of my favorites so far has been Timmy. I'm going to eventually share with all of you guys the full interview that me and Hunter did with him, but I thought first I'd share with all of you an awkward story of the first time I met Timmy and didn't say a word to him. So I hope you guys all enjoy. By the way, this was live from the NRG Castle. Of course, ASU, if you guys do not know, hosted a live concert with Alden and Glaive at the castle. It was amazing. So I got to talk to Timmy. So here's my awkward story. So I do have a question uh, about a shared experience. Have you ever been in an airport, just by any chance? In an airport, right? So build the picture. Yeah. You're in an airport, you see someone you kind of recognize, but you're not sure if they're that person. Okay. Have you done that before? He's referencing something, okay? I'll freaking say it, all right? I don't know if you remember this at all. Okay. I used to live in Vegas. It's embarrassing as frig. We were in the same security line once, and we walked back and forth and back and forth, and I knew I, I thought I recognized you, but I wasn't <laughs> sure. We were in masks. We, shut the freak up. We, we were wearing masks, okay? okay? And you were with Softy as well. So I was like, hmm, there's a good chance. Mm -hmm. And he was wearing the Balenciaga hoodie. When but was this? When was this? It was, this was probably like four or five months ago in a Las Vegas airport. I literally said nothing, and I texted Hunter. I was like, I'm pretty sure I just saw freaking Timmy. <laughs> then like so, 30 minutes later, Jake goes, that was definitely him, okay. for sure. Okay. The entire interview prep to this, he said he was going to freaking say the story. So there we go. Thanks, I chat. I want to say that whenever like I'm out in public, I kind of just zone out. I'm like standing here, and like I kind of just stare straight, but like I'm like thinking to myself. So like I'm not really like okay. looking around okay. most of the time. So like I, I mean I would I literally would not have noticed. Even, so, even if I knew it was you, I would not have noticed. So pretty much I didn't have to say that story online. Yeah, ever. yeah. So like he wouldn't have known. So he was anyways. like, I have no idea who you freaking are. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, all of you guys who maybe meet people in the gaming or esports industry or life and you get nervous, don't worry because I get nervous too. I kid you not, I, w I was in the airport, had my Gen G mask on and I thought maybe, maybe I'd get recognized, but most likely not. And I should have known right freaking away because he was literally wearing his classic Balenciaga and I was like, that's probably Timmy. And as we're walking back and forth, you guys know airport security, it's like the back and forth. So I had to see him and, and Softy like six times. And I was like, hmm, do I say something? Do I don't say something? And I, I just didn't want to be the guy where you have masks on and you walk up and you go, hey, are you Timmy? And then it's some random other dude and I got to explain my way out of it. So um, later on, Timmy did actually clarify with me that they, they might have recognized me because they actually remembered that after the fact so you probably don't believe me but either way that was my first time ever meeting timmy amazing guy by the way all these apex and a lot of these esports peeps are just so freaking chill it's so fun to finally meet them and thanks to all of you guys for watching this stuff it, it helps me meet them so what do y'all think to next time do me a favor drink up okay Bye.